everybody. Welcome to Hell Divers. Democracy Strikes Back. This is Chibi Wolf or Ava Wolf, whatever you want to call me. And we're going to be playing this game. And it's, um, it's available for PlayStation 4. Uh, it's a very fun game. Now, this game doesn't have a storyline. It's just built in for just solo or playing online. Just to have, just to kill some time, just to play it, you know, just to have fun, um, etc., etc., etc. This is a third person overhead game. So it's a third person shooter we are on camera overhead, and um, there's lots of ways to play this game. Um, for instance, different armors will affect different environments as well as guns. You can actually use skill points every time you level up. They always give you rewards for completing quests. So these are kill streaks. You can use you can activate them by using um, the combo buttons they ask you to do. Um, from nukes to reviving players to SOS to get picked up to re um, to respawn players. Um, to different uh, heavy armors, to uh, other terrains um, as well. And during the course of the game, there is different objectives. Uh, each one is probably the same as the last, or they, um, the threat level gets higher. So basically, you, go, you travel to different planets. Um, there's probably three factions, bugs, the Illuminati, which is like, um, um, basically whatever you want to call them, a civilization, you know, uh, uh, alien mechs, um, as well as cyborgs, the undead cyborg guys. So there's, those are the three factions that you accumulate. So during in this, um, let, let the robot, uh, let me, okay, come on, let me skip this, come on. So if you see, there's different regions from each home world, from the Illuminati world, to the to the cyborg home world, to the bug home world, and you can probably guess by leaderboards as well as other things. Not to mention each planet that you go to um, derives on samples. Each sample that you attain will ultimately, you know, start off. So you can see there's different three types of objectives. This guy completed two. His reward, if if he completes it, he gets a mech. Note to self, this game, in general, and I mean literally in general, this game has friendly fire, meaning you basically can dive dive from everything. That means from your own pals, from your from from gunfire hits to care packages falling on top of you, etc. The list goes on. So, that being said. We want to go for something medium. So they'll tell you the enemy, the environment, and where to go from there. So let's go that. He's almost done anyway. So that way we can start off with a new mission if he decides to have us. So let's see. You can see there's different types of perks, heavies, terrains. speed well now that I'm going down to that planet it's a fun game to kill the time <laughs> see I already fit we already finished the mission so basically I was waiting on him so he's level 15 I'm level 15 so he just finished the mission uh, on Acrid level 3. You get stars for it. I only got one star because I came in at the ending. But the experience that you gain if you join somebody will, um, yeah, will ultimately help you out. So there's a lot of samples. There's 10 samples for each planet that you go to. Sometimes they'll be the same. Sometimes they can be different all right so while we're doing that okay let's 
go. Alright. Escort survivors, capture areas, and infiltrate oil extractors. Got you. So, that being said, I want to do this. Hmm. Jetpacks? Probably. Alright, I'm ready. So yeah, like I said, this game does not have a story. It's just telling you you're from a military, you gotta push back the enemies, the three faction enemies, etc, etc. Now these missions are, sometimes they do repeats. Um, actually, a lot of times they do repeats. But then there's the special events that actually are worth going for. Special events are the only different kinds. Oh. Okay. Dropping equipment. So, say like the combo section I told you about. Equipment on its way. Stand by. Equipment on its way. Okay. So without, you can dive, see he's getting all the materials, so you can see the little, um, those little, uh, what do you call it, a scientist emblems, what I want to call it. So that's going to be our objective. Enemies can call for reinforcements if they, if they choose to, so. So let's. Oh, she wants to. Avoiding carnage. All right. He wants to get all the samples. Like I said, it's friendly fire, so you don't want to hit hit your buddy, because he will end up going down. Okay, those those pulsates, those are enemies, so. Someone called reinforcements. Got a lot of enemies in our backs. I can't hit him. I don't want to hit him. But if he gets into my shots, I will. He's grabbing all the samples. So that's six samples. This person is definitely getting them all. So how many we got left? Now you can play this game in the Vita and then PS4. And I don't know if it's 20 bucks or so, but now we got our first objective. Come on, get in there. Okay, first objective complete. We got one more objective to go.
I'm out of ammo. So now I'm going to summon a mech. Get in the mech. See, he's doing his combos right now. So you can actually stomp this uh, this player by ac uh, killing this player accidentally even if you're on a mech So basically friendly fire is pretty much inevitable in this game. So you got to be very careful on your shots Okay, this is when we decide to go all out See? The gay Muslim woman, I'm done. I'm so done. Yeah, the care his care pa well, he his entrance killed her basically. That's awesome. There we go. There we go. Did that we got a two star? So now that we have three people in launch sequence initiated. level three. Level 19. So now we got a different mission, basically. And she's choosing where we're going to be dropping. So, that being said, missile barrages, tanks, ammo is important. This assault rifle, eh, could have been better. So right now, I'll, I'll stick with the energy-based weapon for now. Movement. Confirm. No, hold up. Yeah, leave it like that, actually. Um, like I said, um, it's kind of fun because this is a game where you just want to kill time. You know, just have fun, just playing with the, uh, everybody and 
Um, it's four player co-op, so we might end up having a third, uh, fourth person. So right now. I should probably get out of there. I want to be the guy that's deterrent. So basically, we're heading probably to our first objective. Yep, our first objective. Get off that, please. Thank you. Oh, you did not just do that. Let me. Run, get in, get in, get in. Get in. Why are you not getting in? <laughs> we messed up so badly. Come on, get in. I'm good with this turret. I'm trying not to hit him. Uh, and I'm not the one that's driving the car either, so... <laughs> There we go. So what's next? Capture the flag and something else. Wait, I died? Oh, he backed up. Oh. Oh, well, at least he's reviving me.
Nice. Oh. Thanks for the revive. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh boy, we got a fourth player now. So now we got four players. Go! Move! Go get us! Go, go, go! Move! I ain't going. I got I got objective to do. I already picked up the briefcase. That, oh, he just wanted that item. Oh, okay. Can't run, so he has to. Oops. Nice. Better want to run.
Here we go. So after this, I'm going to show you uh, the challenge mode, and challenge mode is pretty, pretty ridiculous. Painting something. All right. Well, we finished all. We finished all the objectives that I see placed out, but. We're gonna do one more and then it'll be it for today. Three deaths, 101 kills, one accidental kill. Yeah, I. <laughs> we. <laughs> It was kind of ridiculous. So we have that planet cleared. So we're going to do challenge mode. In challenge mode, it's pretty effing difficult. I mean, seriously, it's pretty difficult. We're going to do challenge mode. Let's see. Therefore, you can pick many missions from different various planets. Challenge. Challenge mode. Let me see if anybody else is doing a challenge mode before I make a. Okay, hill divers. That's it for now. I mean, there's only. Wait. Okay, so now we're in challenge mode. We're in a different group. Um. We're gonna be in probably in a different planet, but it looks like the out, you know, the outline and everything else is gonna be um, totally the same. Displacement field perks. Smoke stun grenades. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing challenge mode, and challenge mode is gonna be a lot difficult than easy and normal, and there's gonna be more enemies 
than ever before so it's gonna get crazy you're gonna see um, all of us probably dying more even me um, since friendly fire is an option and everything else there are times when we started a game that you end up dying in the beginning so now this is Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! I wanted to get on my mech before anything happened. So they're not reviving me. This guy could be reviving me. Thank you. Almost close to him. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Let's get into my mech. Mech was almost destroyed. Got a slow turn reaction timing. My, well, that was definitely my fault. like F your freaking mech sweet Well, that was challenge mode. Holy crap, we got screwed in the beginning. I messed up. I didn't think they would give me that short an amount of time. Let's try this again. Not. 
So yeah, that's the difference between uh, challenge mode. I mean, this game, you're going to die for every given reason, no matter what. Either getting hit by bullets or from out of your team or getting killed by care packages, etc., etc. It's really ridiculous. But I enjoy it. You know, sometimes it does get annoying at times, but what can you do? So. Equipment on its way. Dropping equipment. Repeat by dropping equipment. Um, goes my mech Can't even find me. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. Oh, I've got that buzz over there. He is, he's definitely going to eat those rockets. Oh 
Oh man, they're spawning right behind us. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this. He uses the drop to kill him. Thanks for that. for this. I can make it. I can make it. <laughs> There we go. Wow. Ain't that something. But yeah, man, this that that's Hell Divers, guys. Um, there's not much to tell about this game except it's just it's a time killer. Um It's basically mostly co-op and derived from solo or co-op. It doesn't really have really much going on as far as um progression goes um, but yeah man it's it's a it's a good game it's fun but I don't really see myself playing it that much unless I have friends involved so thank you everybody for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video so leave a like subscribe and always stay cheapy see ya